hello guys welcome how are you all doing today i'll be showing you how to draft a pencil skirt uh, with both the front and back pattern together okay so you need your hip measurement plus 10 inches okay so when you get that use that to cut your fabric and then you fold it into two like so and then you go ahead and fold it over again but make sure when you are folding it you fold it and make sure there is one inch okay before the folded line there is one inch in front so you need your hip measurement plus two okay for this because that is the biggest part of your your skirt all right your skirt measurement so fold it this way and then we are going to start with our start line so i am going to go ahead and then rule a straight line all right so um the next thing is to grab my tape measure and then minus my waist measurement like the shoulder to waist from it and then from there i'm going to be marking my shoulder to hip measurements all right so after that you go ahead and mark your shoulder to your lower waist measurement okay yes once that is done mark your shoulder to your knee measurement then you go ahead and mark your shoulder to the skirt length all right so this is a dress all right this is a dress so um after you're done with that just go ahead and add some allowance to that i'm adding just one inch of allowance to that okay so the next step is to go ahead and mark um the same measurements like i have on the other side so that i can square it up beautifully so i'm adding one inch for the uh, hem allowance so after that just rule a straight line across all the lines you've made okay so um after you're done with that the next thing is to go ahead and then divide your waist from the folded end here you divide the waist into four and then you mark quarter of that plus that of one inch okay plus two inches of allowance all right so go ahead and measure your low waist whatever you get there divide by four okay and then add your allowance to that so the hip measurement as well hip divided by four plus two inches of allowance okay so right below the hip two inches away from the hip below the hip i'm going to mark the same hip measurement i got and then i'm going to be squaring or, or shaping this with my skirt pattern all right so guys um i'll do a free hand over here yes just like that i've shaped my skirt pattern now on the knee side you subtract whatever you have on your hip you subtract two inches from that and then you mark it on your knee then you add two inches of allowance to that okay all right so you can basically mark your hip measurements without adding allowance okay so i'm marking the same thing i marked on the knee on my hemline like so and i'm going to be connecting this from the knee to the hemline with a straight rule and then i manipulate my way to the hip with a straight ruler as well so guys um it's as simple as that so the one inches that we left i'm going to be marking my zipper allowance over there and then on the waist side guys i'm marking half an inch okay because our backs are not straight so i'm adding the half an inch back to my side okay so when i finish cutting i'm going to adjust it for you to see so the half an inch i added only reflects at the back okay so after that i'll just connect these points together to create my zip allowance okay yeah so once i'm done with that i'm just going to go straight ahead and cut this out okay so watch the way i am cutting it all right i already added my seam allowance to the waist part also i'm cutting the half an inch i added 
first okay then once uh, that is done okay i'll go ahead and take my front and i'm going to be moving that half an inch from only the front because it should not reflect at the front but only the back so once that is done i'll pull my uh, skirt to the side seam so you can see the one inch here it works okay so because our backs are not shaped that is why i did it that way so guys um thank you so much for watching uh subscribe like and share i'm going to see you in the very next one take care and bye bye